Jordan Jackson, freshman here at North Carolina Central University, studying business administration with a concentration in marketing. Um, my take on math, uh, especially in today's society, I feel as if the math that we are taking can sometimes kind of be useless in a sense. We do all this algebra, um, we do all this algebra and other maths that kind of don't pertain to the real world. Um, we go in every day, you know, adding numbers just to go nowhere in a sense. I know personally for me, um, ninth grade, I did okay with math, but out through high school, I struggled for the most part. I would be the first one in the class, last one to leave, and still not understand what was going on. Sometimes I would just put it on the paper just to get a passing grade. So I feel like um, in today's society, we should cater towards more what the world is offering and what's actually in the world, rather than just to you know give students work nowadays. All right, my name is uh, Christian Sass. I'm a freshman at North Carolina Central University. Um, math, I've always been told math is money. And um, through high school, it was always decent at math. Um, you see a lot of uh, big business people, like people that work with like computers, it all has something to do with math. So I've not always looked at math as being like the most important thing in school. Specifically with my major, my major is um, criminal justice with a focus on homeland security, and I'm not like not too crazy about it. I've only chosen one math to take, I think, within all of my four years here so far, and that's the only one I will need to take. Um, but being good at math is definitely helpful as minorities as well. Um, when you look at a math class, you won't pick the minority as being the best one in that class, but I've definitely seen it though. Hello, my name is Jaden. Um, I go to North Carolina Central University and I'm majoring in kinesiology to be a physical therapist. Ever since I've been in high school, um, I've really struggled with uh, math and going into college, I've struggled with math as well. For me, math really hasn't been a major thing that's, that I see is a vital thing for living in this society because I mean, other than being able to count money and different things like that, I mean, when you just walk around and live your life, you don't really need to know like, oh, what's the Pythagorean theorem or what's the area of this uh, trash can or anything like that. And I feel like we should, if we do continue to uh, keep math the way it is in the school systems, we should focus more on how to use things such as banking or investing or different things like that that will actually help us and transform us into the people that we need for this society to grow. Hello, my name is Isaiah Connor. I was just coming to talk to you about how math affects me personally. Personally, growing up, math was my favorite subject. I always found a passion for it. Um, through high school, math wasn't the strongest subject, even though it was my favorite, but I still found a way to persist and get through it. Me personally, I feel like math is needed a little bit in the world. I don't feel like we need it everywhere, like with variables and other stuff like that. Me personally, as a minority, I feel like it's good to know math. It shows that us as a group of minorities shows us how intellectual we are, how smart we are. I feel like we can use that to our advantage in general. And um, that's really it on my experience with math and how I feel about it. I'm Jamison, a freshman at North Carolina Central University. For math classes, I grew up with like good math classes, but I went to an all black, majority black school. And a lot of times in black schools, we don't have consistent math teachers. Like you have one math teacher that cares a lot about you and explains everything perfectly. But then another year you have one that's like not as invested, doesn't really teach like the others do. One year in my high school, in my junior year, I had three different math teachers for one class. One came, then left, another came and left, another came and left. It's just a lot of inconsistency. And that hurts us going on to like further education in college. But I believe I'm doing well right now, but I can't speak for everybody because I know people that are struggling based off our inconsistent teachers in our black high schools. Over the last three years, um, the goal has always been to retain African-American males and minority males on the campus of North Carolina Central University. Um, here at the Men's Achievement Center and the African American Male Initiative, our goal was to always find what barriers these young men have and how can we get them to the finish line, which is graduation. So we took an in-depth look at 
what is ha was hindering these young men from graduating. So over the last three years, I've been looking at the data and I found that a lot of these young men have been taking multiple math classes, repeat classes, and some even quit because they could never get past the basic math classes that they were in to get to their major. Some even changed their majors due to them having to take multiple, uh, multiple classes. I can also remember one of my brightest students who wanted to be an IT specialist, but he could never get past the math, so he changed his degree to business. Um, I would say that this Math Pathways project will allow us to, one, change the game and how our young men look at education, two, provide the support needed to get these young men to the finish line, and three, shows up incoming freshmen that there is a program here that's, de that's dedicated to helping you with your struggles. Because we all know every high school may not have the strongest math, uh, department, but we made it, uh, uh, made it our goal and our mission when these young men get, get admitted to the university that we will find the appropriate resources to help you be successful. Um, and so with this Math Pathways project, I think it's the future of, of, of what's to come and we will want to be the pilot in the program that takes it to the next level.